Here in this session, we are going to discuss one problem that how to find out the cost of a range search. We know that range search is nothing but let us suppose we are having one query that is select star from employee where employee salary is greater than or equal to 2 lakhs and less than or equal to 5 lakhs. So in, in such cases, we will be considering this one as a range search. So how to calculate the cost and the complexity of a range search when our file is might be a heap file, might be a um, shorted file, might be index file and so on. So in multiple different ways the data can be kept in the data file. So what will be the respective searching complexities for them? So here is our given data and analysis. So let us suppose we are having a data file which is having 10,000 number of pages and 100 rows are found in a range search. So according to the query, we, have, we are going to retrieve 100 number of rows or records and which are matching with the range search criteria. So page transfer for rows assuming 20 rows per page. So to read from the data file, so the corresponding page transfer for rows will be 20 rows per page. Okay. Now, if we consider the heap file, then we know that here the enter file has to be scanned. So that means all the 10,000 number of pages, whatever are there in the heap file, all of them are to be scanned to retrieve the required data for those 100 number of rows which are selected in the range search. In case of shorted file on the search key, then we are having this, the complexity will be here, we will be applying the binary search. So the complexity will be log of 1000 to the base 2 plus 5 or 6 and it will be coming approximately 19. So this is our log of n to the base 2. So n is the number of pages here. So because we are applying the binary search because this is a shorted file on the search key. And why this 5 or 6 will be there? Because after getting the respective, respective page number from where as the file is shorted. So now I am supposed to read this. 100 number of rows are there. So to keep 100 number of rows and 20 rows per page means we can have minimum 5 pages are to be read or maximum 6 pages are to be read. So 5 or 6 so it is coming approximately towards 19. In case of unclustered index it will be lesser than equal to 100 because here this is unclustered that means the index entries are not in the same order in which the records are existing on the data file. So that is why all the 100 uh, indexes are to be searched. So that is why unclustered index in this case it will be the, having the complexity less than equal to 100. In case of clustered index 5 or 6 we know that in case of clustered index the indexing sequence and the respective your record existing sequence in the data file they will be same. So as we are having this 100 number of rows. So we are having we are going to have this 5 or 6 number of searching will be requiring. So that is the cost for this. Now page transfer for index entries. So now here assuming 200 entries per page. Okay. For heap and short file it will be 0 because they are not bothering for any kind of index or indices. Unclustered secondary index it will be 1 or 2 all entries must be read. So here for this 100 rows as we are having 200 entries per page. So for 100 rows I think minimum one page has to be read or two pages are to be read. So that is why we are keeping this one or one or two. In case of clustered secondary index we are having to have we are going to put this value one because only the first entry must be read and other entries can easily be obtained from the from the table. So after going to the table because in it is a clustered index. So that means the index entries will remain in the same order in which the tuples or records are existing onto the data file. So if you go to the if you can find the starting row number then obviously I can fetch the next 100 number of rows. So in this way we are having this respective uh, complexity analysis and cost analysis for a problem on range search. Thanks for watching this video.